Hi, and welcome back to OTH Inside. I'm Jeff Heideck, bringing you the news of One Tree Hill from its hometown here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, first, let's get to the One Tree Hill news of the week. Well, if you're a fan of One Tree Hill and you visited the sets here in Wilmington, you've undoubtedly met some other fans from around the world. Now, if you haven't and you've always wanted to get that chance, you should check out the One Tree Hill Fan Reunion happening in January 2010. It's your chance for an exclusive tour of Screen Gem Studios, where many of the One Tree Hill sets are, as well as a chance to hang out with other One Tree Hill fans. You can catch up with more on that event at onetreehillreunion.blogspot.com. Before we talk about the craziness of last night's episode, let's go out to Amy Hotz, who was talking to some fans outside the close of a bro set this summer about what they were looking forward to in season seven. All right, I'm with a group of friends from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, there's Missy, Chrissy, Carrie, and Sarah. And um, they're all, I guess, big One Tree Hill fans? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, and you guys are staying out here in front of Close of a Bros, checking out the scene. What have you guys seen so far? Um, well, we've seen a couple of the stars coming in and out, so that was pretty cool. And Sophia Bush actually said hi to us, so that was really? awesome. Yeah. Okay, did you get any pictures of anything? Um, yeah, we got a few. But. A few pictures? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and um, so there have been a lot of new changes with Season 7. Some of the actors are gone. We have some new actors. Um, what are you guys looking forward to for this new season? I think just um, new, the new characters, see what they can do and see how the old characters can mesh with the new ones. Great. Are you... Like, really looking forward to seeing some of the new characters? Anybody in particular? I'm just looking forward to seeing the old characters and seeing where they go at the show. Um, that's pretty exciting. We took a studio tour and got to see some of the sets, and we also got to see a set that hasn't even been on the show yet, so that was neat to see. Good deal. What did you see uh, on the set? Um, we saw it's um, a Las Vegas hotel room for Dan, and that hasn't been on the show yet, so that should be something that's coming up in the next season. Yeah. So Dan goes to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. Um, Thanks, Amy. Now let's talk about what happened last night. So we're three weeks into One Tree Hill so far this season, and we still haven't had any Nathan or Dan interaction. I find that kind of strange. Dan, of course, is now married to Rachel, who used to be Brooke's best friend, and we haven't seen Brooke's reaction to that yet, or Nathan's reaction to that yet, and that's just kind of weird. I'm looking forward to see how that's going to shake out this season. And also something I noticed last night, when um, Haley was going through the problems she had dealing with Nathan's baby mama drama, um, you know, who did she go to for help? She couldn't go to Lucas. He's not on the show anymore. She couldn't go to Peyton, who used to run the label with her. She's not on the show anymore, so she had to go to Brooke. And I think it'll be interesting to see this season how the Brooke and Haley relationship develops over the course of the season. They're two people who never really had to be that strong together because of the other characters on the show. And this season, it looks like they're going to have to do that. Now, what do you think of the new season? What do you think of these relationships? You can talk about all of this on our website at starnewsonline.com slash One Tree Hill. For OTH Inside and Amy Hotz, I'm Jeff Heideck. We'll see you next week.